Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, July 19, 2011. Let's get right into the charts. Looks like the markets are getting a little bit of a bounce here today. Uh, we do see the ES futures trading up about 8 points at the moment. Nice little uh, rebounding uh, move. Even after yesterday's uh, little bit of a bloodbath decline, although the markets did rally back yesterday afternoon, nonetheless, still fi finished lower, sharply negative. Dow is down by nearly uh, 100 points, and the S&P 500 obviously down 11 points, and the NASDAQ was down 24 points. So today we are getting a little bit of a bounce back, really off of um, IBM's news last night. IBM having a nice little uh, move last night after the bell, reporting earnings that were better than expected market receiving them pretty well and you see this uh, long long consolidation phase trading up around $178.13 a share yesterday IBM closed at 175.28 we're gonna have a lot of economic news this entire week this morning you got some news out of Goldman Sachs not too good on Goldman Sachs stock is getting hit pretty sharply trading around the 125.41 level yesterday Goldman closed at 129.33 so Goldman under pressure this morning uh, reporting numbers that were not as uh, not as good as uh, investors expected, and you see the stock getting hit a little bit. Now, there's still a lot of support for Goldman in this 126 area. We are trading down uh, below that in the pre-market, but we'll see where the stock trades once it opens. Uh, maybe it floats back up. If Goldman does flush, watch the 120 level for a little bit of support, right at $120 a share. There's going to be a lot of support there for Goldman Sachs. That's a probable uh, intraday bounce area. Although, if the stock gets about, <clears throat> if the stock does get above the um, 126 level, that is a very good spot um, for support as well. So we'll see where it trades once the stock opens. All right, let's go right back over to the um, to the U.S. dollar here. You can see the U.S. dollar is trading down sharply today. Whenever the market's up, we know the dollar is down. U.S. dollar index is trading lower by 41 cents. That's a big decline, believe it or not, in the U.S. dollar index. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but when the dollar trades down, the markets inflate and trade higher. That's exactly what we're seeing this morning. So again, dollar down whenever the market is up. Watch the dollar intraday. It's going to be a very important vehicle. If the dollar rallies higher, the market will pull back. If the dollar, um, if the dollar sells off or, or declines, that will inflate the market. Just look at, um, take a look at yesterday. The dollar really sold off around 11 o'clock in the morning, and that's when the stock market reversed and went higher. So you, you'll see this constantly. Here is yesterday, right here around 11 o'clock, the dollar started to um, decline. And all you got to do is look at the futures here. Just rewind the clock and look at 11 o'clock. Futures started to rally up. So that's all it takes. So keep that chart on your uh, on your on your in your view at all times because there's nothing more important than the U.S. dollar index chart at this moment. Okay, few things going on in Europe, and we'll uh, talk about that real quick. Um, looks like there were some auctions in Spanish and Spanish bonds, Italy bonds, Italian bonds. They both went off better than expected. So again, Italy is is catching a little bit of a bid today. Nothing great, but the um, the markets in Europe are higher today, getting a little bit of a bounce. Um, you have the, the the French CAC 40, which is up a little over one percent, and the German DAX up one percent. Uh, a little over 1%. You have the FTSE 100 up 4 tenths of 1%. So again, you're getting a little bit of a bid in the European markets. And we'll just see how it plays out. Um, I don't want to make too much out of it. But um, you know, we'll see how it plays out. Again, so far the markets are holding up this morning. And you know maybe they're just a little bit oversold. Due for a little bit of a bounce. But again, you got to watch every headline out of Europe. And um, that's almost impossible to do. So what I like to do is just watch the US dollar index and the markets will generally trade inverse to that US dollar index now some other stocks in the news today Bank of America <clears throat> let's get that chart up reported earnings stock is trading down just a little bit here uh, yesterday closed at 972 it did spike to around ten dollars in the pre-market here around 7 a.m. however it has sold off back down again trading around 965 a share now financials could be under some pressure with Goldman also, BAC, Wells Fargo is another one that reported earnings this morning. Wells Fargo yesterday closed at 26.88. Today, it's trading at 27.10. So, Wells Fargo has done a little bit better in the pre-market. And let's just take a look at JPM since, really, that's the godfather of all the, all the uh, financial stocks out there right now. And JPM closed yesterday at 39.83. 
Today it's trading at 39.82, basically right where it closed yesterday. So not being affected, but you are seeing, you know, big down moves in Goldman Sachs and a little bit of a, a sell-off in in uh, Bank of America. So watch those financials; they're very, very important. They've been leading the markets uh, lower really since the correction began, and even more so, they they kind of indicated that the correction was going to take place. So again, uh, financial stocks are very, very important. Um, you do have gold down a little bit today. Let's take a look at the GLD. GLD is trading uh, off the highs a little bit and trading down a little bit. Actually has rebounded over the last few minutes. Let's take a look at SLV. The SLV, same thing, came down to this 39 level in the pre-market, inching back up. But SLV yesterday closed at uh, 39.47. Today trading at 39.18. So they're just down slightly. If you look at the USO, the USO is trading at 37.90. Uh, yesterday closed at 37.59. So you have oil inflating up uh, uh, just a little bit here. We are getting a little bit of a pop in oil. And, um, you know, you just have to watch this market and watch the dollar. But spot crude is trading higher by 93 cents. That puts it at uh, basically around 96.85 a barrel at the moment. So we'll see how um, crude plays out. But again, most important factor, in my opinion, is the U.S. dollar index. And even now, if the dollar gets any kind of a bid, Watch for the markets to deflate and trade lower. That's all it comes down to. Um, dollar moves up. Just watch for the futures to come down. Right now, the futures are, you know, holding up fairly well today. Really choppy, sloppy consolidation here. But if that dollar gets any kind of a bid, you'll see the futures come right back in. Market is very, very sensitive and trades inverse to the U.S. dollar index. Okay, that pretty much covers everything I was looking at this morning. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot that we need to uh, really cover. Uh, once again, those of you that are in the chat room, I'll see you uh, at 9 o'clock. And uh, the rest of you, have a great trading day. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care now.